In this video, I'll show you how to auto-resize your columns to the optimal width in LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make quick tips and tutorials on how to use Calc software. So I'll head over to my second sheet. Here I just have a table of books. And we see in the first column that it's a little bit too narrow. And visually it's because here in row 7, we see a little red arrow indicating there's actually more text. So if I click on the cell and take a look at the formula bar, indeed the last word of the title is a little bit cut off. And it's not visible within the cell itself. So the easy way to auto resize the column is just move the mouse cursor up to the right side of the column. And notice my cursor has changed to a left right arrow then just double click on it and now calc has resized the column for me if you ever accidentally resize a column or you don't like how it turned out you can always just go to edit and undo optimal column width with the keyboard shortcut of Control Z so I hope you stick around to the end of the video because I have a few more bonus tips about how to select specific columns and how to resize columns to a uniform width as well. So normally to select multiple columns, we just click and drag which ones that we want. However, if there's a way that we want to resize columns that are not adjacent to each other, we can go ahead and use a keyboard shortcut and hold down the control key and then click to select specific columns. Now we can use the auto resize with the double click to the right of a column and it doesn't matter which one we choose. We could do on this one. We applied it to both column A and C. However, my column A was already optimized so it didn't have to make a change there. And if we wanted to, we can set column widths to uniform width by selecting multiple columns at once and then we can click and drag to a certain width. I can try and set it to one inch and now we see for my three selected columns, they're all now one inch widths. And lastly, as you might imagine, this also works for rows as well. So to demonstrate, I'll make the rows taller than it needs to be. I can go to Format, Rows, Optimal Height, click OK. So now it resized the row heights to the optimal size for me. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching till the end. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel as I'm continuing to put out more tutorials for you to learn. Have a great day and as always, stay nifty.